Rumors of a 7th gen iPod Touch are coming in from multiple sources, suggesting there's a good chance we'll be seeing a new device soon. But the question is why? The iPod Touch hasn't seen an update since 2015, and the reason for that is booming iPhone sales. So why would Apple want to refresh the iPod Touch when its flagship product, which does everything a Touch can do, is performing so well? In this video, we'll talk about all the rumors hinting at an iPod Touch refresh and explain why it actually makes sense for Apple. Back in 2017, app developer Ben Geskin discovered references to a new iPod within iOS 11's GM code. And only a few days ago, another developer named Steve Troughton Smith discovered references to some new iPads in a new iPod model within iOS 12.2's beta code. And if that isn't enough evidence, Japanese blog Mac Otakara reported that several sources in Apple's supply chain are certain Apple is currently developing a new iPod Touch. Let's talk about why it makes sense for Apple to update the iPod Touch. Over the past few years, Apple's services revenue has been growing year over year with no indication of slowing down. Take a look at this chart which shows Apple's services revenue growth since 2014. Back in August of 2017, services revenue alone was the size of a Fortune 100 company, beating out Facebook's entire business. Last quarter, services made a shocking $10 billion in revenue. So what all goes into Apple services? There's iTunes, iCloud, Apple Music, Apple Pay, Apple Care, and the various app stores, including iOS games which account for 82% of the revenue from Apple's app store, according to Neil Campling from Mirabad Securities. He said that Apple has become one of the biggest gaming companies in the world without currently marketing a single game itself. Now here's the beautiful thing about Apple services. You don't need an expensive iPhone or iPad to access them. Right now, you can buy a 2015 iPod Touch for only $199 and have access to all the music, games, apps, and other Apple services you will ever need. So if Apple is working on a new 7th gen iPod Touch, they're not doing it to make money on hardware. They're doing it to make money off of services. More and more families are buying handheld devices like smartphones and tablets for children at a younger age than ever before. And buying a cheaper iPod Touch for a young child who simply wants to listen to music and play iOS games makes quite a bit more sense compared to buying a more expensive iPhone with cellular capabilities that require a data plan. If Apple can make it easier for more people to get more iOS devices in their hands, their services revenue will continue to grow at exponential rates. Not everyone who buys their kid an iPod is going to let them make a bunch of purchases on the App Store or sign up for an Apple Music subscription. While this may be true, Apple can still make a good amount of revenue from iOS gaming, even without you purchasing anything. How, you might ask? Advertising. Whenever you see the word ad next to an app in the App Store, the company is paying Apple for it to show up specifically when a user taps on it. So whether you download or purchase the app or not, Apple is making money off of that advertisement. Judging by Apple's growing services growth, a lot of people are actually buying its services, and if introducing an updated iPod Touch can help more iOS devices into the hands of more people, why wouldn't Apple do so? And since Apple has recently been putting out some incredibly powerful processors that can handle basically any game in the App Store, a new iPod Touch could potentially become a relatively cheap and powerful gaming device on its own. It can and should be marketed that way. So what do you guys think about this? Would a new iPod Touch be a great way for Apple to increase services revenue? Or do you think they have other plans for it? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.